Hello everyone. Welcome back to Hemophilic Hero. Without wasting time, let's get into the video. I want to give as much as knowledge and experience as possible in short time. Do you remember this scene from the last video? <laughs> like I told you, I got sick within 24 hours uh, from the time I uploaded this video. It means continuously I am sick. I lost to hemophilia this year after a big comeback uh, last year this year it's brutally hitting me absolutely no time to breathe so what happened to me on 30th october after two decades this is the first time i got uh, diarrhea on on the tuesday and i got some vomiting sensation on 14th october i felt some stomach pain and vomited after two decades yes i had a good digestive system so far no diarrhea and vomiting but something going wrong with my digestive system recently soon i will look into that and take proper treatment for that digestive system problem i took some medicines on 14th uh, october and my stomach pain uh, problem solved on the day noon uh, i slept well in in the deep sleep i squeezed my knee because of dehydration my uh, because of diarrhea i got dehydration so my uh, muscles and uh, uh, joints started to cramp muscles cramp and joints started to um, Uh, get stiff something like squeezes inside until i go to sleep on the day night i felt a little burning sensation and some bleeding symptoms i thought uh, let's wait for some more time um, to before infusing factor i want to make sure it's a minor bleed or severe one when i woke up in next morning i got some severe pain from morning 4 am itself i couldn't i became restless i couldn't uh, lay down i couldn't sit down i couldn't stand i was doing this uh, randomly every uh, one or two minutes after a long time i am face uh, f- uh, feeling that uh, severe pain of hemophilia uh, i have uh, taken more pain than this but this is something uh, above normal level pain and i couldn't walk i used my chair to move inside my room uh, and my fridge got a malfunction before few months ago uh, so the factors are kept in my uncle's house so i waited until sunrise and uh, he banged me that uh, factor on 7 am and uh, okay i got factor now uh, then what's next uh, then i have to infuse it um, but i tried to find my veins uh, it's all uh, disappear uh, sorry uh, hidden inside my body because of the weakness of that uh, stomach pain diarrhea and those uh, severe pain uh, it's not visible at all around exactly eighth shot uh, i got my vein infused 1000 unit factor and it took 3 uh, hours uh, to normalize my breathing and uh, to reduce my pain and then i took uh, bed rest that you can clearly see from this video um and then on uh, 19th i gone to gym to just check my weight because it's not good to stay in bed rest uh, because i took already 4 days of bed rest so i want to uh, walk for some time then only the stiffness will decrease and to check my body weight my i lost uh, 2 kg in 4 days it took 1 uh, month for me to gain that 2 kg of body weight but good things happen slower bad things happens faster but actually very extremely faster this is why i say eat well maintain proper body weight uh, because it's easy for the body to burn your muscle and use it as energy 
if you haven't watched my diet series for Fimo Felix please watch it now a link is given on the top right corner it will appear now from the pictures i shared with you it clearly shows that i lost 2 kg in 4 days actually i lost uh, 3 kg uh, in uh, one week i didn't have that uh, picture but it's okay it's enough i think again i made a posting video on uh, 19th october just for some experiment purpose after losing 2 kg and to check how small i look after the bleeds uh, actually it's very well visible but you can't see uh, those difference in camera but still there are some uh, difference in these videos if you watch it too close then you will see the changes the muscles are loose in the 12th october video the muscles are fuller rounder and thicker uh, but uh, with this one uh, you can clearly see there are some uh, uh, losses in my uh, muscles glycogen and some fat actually i lost the hardness in my muscle veins are not visible um, but some muscle depth is visible because of the water loss uh, happened in the week superb example evidence and experiment to increase your quality of life i'm doing this all for you so uh, share this channel with your hemophilic friends see on 20th october morning i didn't walk for uh, even a minute on that day noon i was sleeping uh, and I suddenly had a twitch in my uh, leg uh, which uh, uh, flexed my knee beyond its range. Uh, uh, the range is restricted, restricted but uh, it automatically pulled my leg. So the bleeding started again. And the walking stat shown here uh, which I walked inside the hospital for the on-demand factor therapy in government hospital. On 21st, I took complete best bed rest uh, and on the day evening itself the pain started to increase. Uh, so I took the tramadol tablet 1. After a long time I am taking a painkiller. I am not a big fan of painkiller. I don't use painkiller much but when it comes uh, uh, necessary then only I use. Um, but I left using painkillers more I use rarely but before a decade there wasn't uh, much factor available it's very rare to get a factor but uh, I depended and I used a lot of painkillers on those days uh, it gave me a lot of uh, problems which I will discuss later in a video okay let's come back to the video again uh, on 22nd, I infused 1500 units of factor now. That's uh, almost the 4000 units I used in the past uh, few days for single target joint bleed. On 23rd, uh, I discussed with my society and uh, plan to increase my dosage. So, uh, given 2000 units of factor, um, it gave me some relief and so far uh, 6000 units of factor used uh, until 23rd of uh, October the bleed started on 15th keep it in mind so what I did apart from using factor I keep I kept my leg elevated like this for 30 minutes to one hour uh, whichever is comfortable for me then I keep my leg uh, uh, leg flat or uh, like sitting in a chair so the blood flow increases to that uh, lower part of the leg i keep on randomizing doing that every day uh, every few hours okay i just keep it flat elevated and uh, keep my legs down also what's the logic behind uh, uh, changing the position of my legs 
to bring new blood flow to the leg when i whenever i kept it down the new blood flow will come to that uh, full leg and that uh, uh, it will it will uh, help to clear that blood clot on that swollen knee uh, when i elevate the leg up again then it will clear that uh, blood uh, it will help to clear that blood faster okay Uh, keep it in mind only when you are uh, in factor only you have to do like this if you are not in fuse factor then you have to simply keep your leg elevated only See, there is a 1 inch gap in between my leg and the floor uh, which means uh, i can only straighten my leg up to 90% and i cannot bend my leg more than uh, 80% okay and uh, don't use grip bandage for more than suggested hours i use 3 uh, to 4 times per day 1 to maximum 2 hours then i let some fresh bl- uh, fresh blood flow into that area because over using a grip bandage will uh, reduce the blood flow to the lower part of the area and uh, it will become weak use grip bandage responsibly have some limitations uh over using it will uh, cause some permanent damage to your legs because of stopping the blood flow to the lower part of the leg or uh, other part of the body so always keep it in mind it stops your uh, blood flow which will weaken the other body parts also so do have some limits with grip bandage This is on 26th uh, October morning gone to gym to check my weight and did some low intensity workouts to uh, make my hands and shoulders healthy but before that i checked my both knees uh, temperature healthy knee is 96.6 and the swollen knee is 97.8 so there is 1.2 uh, a uh, fairly difference between both still i can feel the warmthness in my bare hands itself and my knee is not uh, smooth enough and the walking is not up to the uh, comfort level so i am going to infuse uh, more some more factor on that uh, 26th october uh, low going to lower the dosage just going with the 1000 units of factor that's how we have to bring the dosage down in between this stressful painful days uh, my mobile also broken while i am on the hospital uh, which upset me a lot because for me mobile is everything that's the last thing i have felt low on the time and uh, i got a comment from uh, our subscriber nicolas which changed my mood thanks to nicolas a lot everything around me is full of negative even my mind oscillates between negative and positive but everything happens for a reason there is one positive thing in this all troubles that's to show you all that how much severe hemophilic i am If you haven't watched my fight against hemophilia yet, go and watch it first. The link is given on the top right corner. Then you will able to understand what I am capable of and it will create belief in my words and videos. I am not on prophylaxis. I cannot climb abs mountain. I cannot swim from India to Australia. I cannot run around the world. I am just a normal hemophilia. Yes, I do bleed severely, but I am a bodybuilder. My fight is meaningful. Thing is, you have to do what you cannot and, and what is needed. And my competition ideas are postponed because I am not getting any kind of support. Uh, but it's just postponed this is why i didn't uh, do any competition so far and i have plans to do total knee replacement surgery next year mark my words i am the worst and i am the best 
one day i will have a superior life than normal people have by being smart and doing hard work be stubborn fight back take care be happy bye love you all